Good afternoon, thank you for watching Randall Light Gaming. We're going to be doing another video, this on a game called uh, Calico, uh, or also known as Quilts and Cats of Calico. It's actually modeled after a, a board game, uh, so anyone that's in the board game hobby, this is going to also be part of that community as well. This is just simply the, um, the digital version of that. And um, the goal of the game is basically to make your quilt nicer than all the other quilts. And um, so with this particular one, unfortunately we won't get any kind of random randomization, so it's always going to be the same game uh, that you play regardless. Um, so, I mean, it still uh, gives you a little bit more stuff to do on there. Um, you can complete this with the coziest quilt as they draft and place tiles. So it is like a, a tile placement game where you pick up tiles and then you can and then you're trying to meet certain criteria within the board itself. Um, and then you know, of course you get uh, design goal tiles and this kind of gives you like an objective that you want to complete throughout it. We'll kind of go over that too when we get to that part. And it can also uh, are also trying to create pattern groups to attract the cuddliest cats and groups of colors um, on which to sew buttons. Basically, whoever has the most um, effective quilt will end up winning. And this kind of gives you just kind of a broad idea of the layout of the game itself. So, I mean, so far the demo is actually pretty good as well. And this kind of goes over like different patterns. Um, and we'll kind of look at a bigger version of that part shortly. And then, of course, how to play. Um, kind of goes over those details as well. How to sew buttons. So, as you can see, uh, demo already includes a pretty good um, amount of information within that as well. So a couple of things we're looking for here is um, we're basically going to set down three objectives at the start. Um, this kind of really just depends on how we personally want to play it out. So for example, the easiest one would be this one, which is two of one type of tile, two of another type of tile, one then one. All different colors or all different patterns. So this one basically we want to complete, you know, a completely different uh, amount of things uh, around it at all times. Um, so yeah, for this one we'd want to hit six different colors. Short version of that. All right, so what we might try to do is aim for more points. I think with this one, what I'm thinking is because we only have to share one color with this one if we do it this way. So this one we can basically just completely make it every different color and right, be okay. Uh, with this one, we can still share two, and then at that point it just needs a third of that same color and then the other three. So I think we might go for kind of the harder play on this one. And some other things. Um, you need three plus tiles of either of these polka dots, which would be kind of be like this one here, or three of this one, which will be like the centerpiece here. Uh, this one is five or more tiles of the little tree things here and the stars. And this will be seven of the stripes and those. Okay, so I think what we might shoot for is different colors here.
So we might do this one to grab the center one. Because we still want to, we we'll probably want to trigger these two first. But whenever we don't have anything else to play, we'll have to find a different color for that one. And um, just as a reminder for anyone, um, so basically the AA, BB, CC just means we need three pairs. It doesn't matter which colors they are uh, specifically. But um, that's basically what that is, whereas this one needs uh, two different three of a kinds. Um, as far as colors go, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I do believe we do need a dark purple as well. All right, so let's go and do this one. I might grab this just to finish off the blue here. All right, so we do have purple, blue, this orange will be in here. Um, so I might grab this one. So basically put it with the other lines here. Um, hmm. I mean, the play would obviously probably be this one. And maybe dots. Because we could do two of the dot ones up there. So in this case, because we have um, the three dots here, uh, we have this cat now in our room. Um, but the thing is, can we actually hit seven of these? That is kind of a tough one. Oh, yeah, that's a bit tough. Because if we go stripes, would be up here. And we're at four if we do that. I think the safer bet would actually be to take this and drop it here. Or drop it here. We still need a pink one. That is a, a key part of our strategy here. The other question is what color do we want here? And I think blue might be an option.
Yeah, let's go and drop that in there. Huh? So we do need a pink. We do need a green to throw in this. We kind of need a dark blue too. Okay, so a pink stripe actually would be really good here because that gives us six once we drop one here, which is good. Yeah, I don't think this will benefit us much, so we're just going to throw it there for now. But this pink stripe we do need. So, this one will finish this out. Okay, so for this one, we still need a light blue. That's the important one for here. We do need at least two dark blue here. So we're going to grab this just to finish that one. Out. I think our the better idea would be to at least do this for now. Huh. So, I don't think we have a big grouping of stars. So that probably doesn't help us. I mean, we do have a bigger grouping of those up there. The pink itself doesn't help as much, but... So stripes would still be useful for us. We do need this light blue, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this one, I need to put in here to Finish that one out there. Um, well, this one would probably go here. I don't know that any of these other ones help us much. We could grab another blue for down here. Yeah, not a great choice, but. Yeah, we really just need this right. That's pretty much all I was hoping for on that.
Still need a stripe. I still get three placements now. Oh, I did kind of mess up. We didn't want to get rid of that blue, though. That was a bad idea. Oh, I'm going to get dark blue. If we don't, that is certainly a bad situation. Well, that is certainly a predicament. Yeah, so a few rounds ago, we should have kept this and then basically placed it here. Um, which wouldn't have changed our points much. It would have just made it so that we didn't fail this last one. So that said, um, we could have certainly played that one a little bit better. So unfortunately, I did fail that one. Yeah, and that one singular placement is probably exactly what it causes to lose. Because we're only down by a point. So, um, yeah, as I said, said um, as I said, I don't believe there's any randomizations, right? So I could literally just play the same exact decisions all the way through, change that one decision, and uh, that would pretty much be what the game currently allows. But um, that said, uh, those that haven't played Calico in the past, I'm actually fairly new to this one. I do own quite a few board games. Um, but this is actually one I always hear good things about, but I've never actually played. So it was actually good in addition to it being a new game that's being possibly released soon. Uh, it's also part of my other hobby, which is board gaming. And um, so it's always fun to encounter some of my other you know, hobbies and um, while doing streaming as well. Otherwise, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did enjoy the game or if it does look like something of interest to you, even if you don't necessarily play a lot of Steam games, um, I know it is in board game form as well. Um, you can always get it in that form, play it with family and friends. Um, however, if it is something that you want to do, just play, you know, something that's a solo game on Steam, then that option is also in there as well. And I think it will have a multiplayer element. Um, so you can also play with friends and family online as well. Otherwise, um, thank you for watching Run Gaming. You have a wonderful day.